Hi friends, welcome back to freshersworld.com. In today's video, I will be dealing with some questions which can be asked for the competitive exams and that you can solve without using pen and paper. This video is sponsored by an academy and after a small video, we will start our classes. Why should anyone take an academy subscription? First of all, when you take up a subscription, you get access to all the badges and courses that are running currently and also the ones that have happened in the past. You can learn from your favorite teachers and be a part of all the courses and badges that are being taken up by them. Dedicated doubt sessions will be available so that you can ask doubts in live classes. Additionally, there is doubt support on Discord where educators and teaching assistants solve doubts. You have badges and courses running which can help beginner, intermediate and advanced level folks. And there is an interview preparation batch starting on 24th Feb, especially for intermediate level folks which will help you get ready for upcoming placements. And this is being taken up by Rhea Binsal who is herself taking Flipkart and will be able to guide you how to crack such interviews and Deepak Gaur, who is the ICPC World Finalist for 2020 and he has worked at App Dynamics. Check the batch trailer and course plan by clicking on the link in the description. So let's get started. Our first question is, find the angle between hour hand and minute hand when the time is 6.30. You can solve this question in just one or two seconds. So I will explain to you the shortcut. At 6.30, we know that both the hands of the clock, that is, our hand and minute hand will be pointing towards 6. There will be slight deviation, but still both the hands will be pointing towards the same number. So, if that is the case, what you have to do is, just find half of the minute which is given in the question. Here it is 30 minutes, right? Just divide 30 by 2, that is, 30 by 2 is 15 degree. So the answer will be 15 degree. This shortcut you can use at 1, 5, 2, 10, 3, 15, 4, 20, 5, 25, 6, 30, 7, 35, 8, 40, 9, 45, 10, 50 and 11, 55. In all these cases, what you have to do is just Take half of the minute specified. For example, at 3.15, we know that both the hands, our hand and minute hand will be pointing towards 3. So, to find the angle between our hand and minute hand, just take half of the minute specified. That is 15 minutes, no? So, take 15 by 2. So, the answer will be 7.5 degree. If it is 4.20, both the hands will be pointing towards 4. So, to find the angle between our hand and minute hand, just take half of 20, that is 10 degree. This is how you have to solve this type of questions. Hope this is clear to everyone. Now, let's move on to the next type of question. Find the fraction which comes in between 11 by 20 and 13 by 15. Normally, how you will be solving this question? You will be Dividing this and converting this to a decimal number. Again, in the option also there will be 4 fractions. You will be converting that to decimal numbers. And finally, you will be wasting your precious time there just by dividing. So, you don't have to do such things here. To find the answer, it is very simple. What you have to do is, here we are asked to find out the fraction which comes in between 11 by 20 and 13 by 15. So, only thing you have to do is, just add the numerators. That is 11 and 13. So, 11 plus 13 is 24. Write it as the numerator. Divided by, just add the denominators. That is 20 and 15. 20 plus 15 is 35. So, your answer will be 24 by 35. See how simple it is? Moving on to the next question. 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 minus 1 by 16 minus 1 by 32 minus 1 by 64. So, first understand the type of question. That is starting with a number and taking half of the number each time. That is 1 by 4 minus half of 1 by 4 is 1 by 8. Minus half of 1 by 8 is 1 by 16. 
minus half of 1 by 16 is 1 by 32. Again, half of 1 by 32 is 1 by 64. So, if this is the type of question, then your answer will be the last number of the series. So, here the answer will be 1 by 64. So, here you don't have to do any calculation. You can directly write the answer as last number of the series. Let's see one more question. 2 minus 1 minus half minus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8. This is similar to the last question. So, here it is of the same format. That is starting with the number 2. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 1 is 1 by 2. Half of 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 and half of 1 by 4 is 1 by 8. And you have minus sign in between. So, if this is the type of question, what we have to do? Just take the last number of the series. So, here the answer will be 1 by 8. Now, moving on to the last question. Find the mirror image of 8, 25 and 11, 20. So, to solve this question, you have to keep this point in your mind. If the given time is up to 11 o'clock, then the given time should be deducted from 11.60. Here, first question is to find the mirror image of 8.25. We know that 8.25 is less than 11. So, you have to deduct 8.25 from 11.60. 60. So, we know that 1160 minus 825 is 60 minus 25 is 35 and 11 minus 8 is 3. So, the mirror image of 825 is 335. And the second question is find the mirror image of 1120. So, if the given time is 11 o'clock or after 11, then that should be deducted from 2360. So, the given time should be deducted from 2360. So, here 2360 minus 1120. 60 minus 20 is 40. 23 minus 11 is 12. So, the answer will be 1240. So, hope this point is clear to everyone. To find the mirror image, if the given time is up to 11 o'clock, you can deduct the given time from 1160. So, the answer will be the mirror image of the given time. Now, if the time specified is 11 o'clock or after 11, then you have to deduct the given time from 2360. So, I hope you enjoyed the session. So, we will be coming with more interesting videos. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you find these videos useful. So thank you all.